Here is a macro photograph taken by our light field camera. The diagram at right shows to scale the camera lens, the focal plane, and between them the shaft of rays captured in the light field. By extracting only one pixel from each micro lens image, we can construct pinhole views, for example with the pinhole here and the focal plane here. Such an image looks like this. Note that this view is sharp. If we exaggerate the diagram, we can visualize the rays used to create it. Adding a visualization of the microlens images, we can depict which pixel we extracted from each such image to make the view shown at left. Choosing a different pixel from each microlens image, we can move the observer laterally across the original camera aperture. Of course, if we move too far, we will eventually reach the edge of the microlens image, the view will vignette, and eventually disappear. Alternatively, we can resort rays in the manner of light field rendering, allowing us to pull the observer back to create a near orthographic view, or move forward to create a wide angle view. Of course, if we move too far forward, we will eventually again exceed the bounds of the microlens images, leading to vignetting. We can visualize this vignetting by projecting rays from the aperture through the virtual observer to the focal plane, creating a diagram like this. We can make this vignetted view useful by filling in the missing rays with the nearest available rays, shown in red in the diagram. This leads to a view that is the desired wide angle in its center, surrounded by a multi-perspective annulus.